Hello, this is Brett, and in this lesson we're going to talk about strings. So strings are just multiple characters that are sequentially ordered. In the last lesson we talked about character arrays, which we had this A, B, C, and D here. And if you think of A, B, C, and D put together, that would make up a string. So because characters are arrays or strings uh, that are sequentially ordered to create words are so common, there's some helpers in C to help us work with them, but they're not as easy to use in C as they are in other languages. So we'll teach them to you in C, but knowing that a lot of the nuances of working with strings in C don't exist in other languages, and so it just gets easier from here, not harder. So let's take this example and let's print out name, and then we're going to give it, instead of four characters, we're going to give it a string and then give it name right here. So we're just going to print out the name as a string. It will come to this character array. It will treat it um, as a string. And then we print this out. So you can see here it prints out A, B, C, D. And then we start to get some weird characters in here. And that's because when you're thinking of a character array as a string, there's a couple of things that you need to remember. So first, we need to know when is the end of the string, like when is our word finished? And so to do that we add in a new type of a character uh, which is the null character, which is backslash zero, and that will tell the compiler and it tells our program that this is the end of this array uh, and it knows how long our string is. So because we added another slot in here we need to change the length of our array to five and then if we were to come into this print statement, we need to add another slot in here for that final character slot. And we print, uh, we save that. And now if we run it again, we can see that the printf for the name each still printed out A, B, C, and D. It doesn't print out any symbol for this, uh, this null character. And then in our name, it printed out A, B, C, and D. So one thing to understand is that strings, these character arrays, have to have a null terminating character at the very end so it knows that we're at the end of the string. Otherwise it keeps running off of the the length of the array and that gets a little bit more advanced but uh, just know that that's required. So because these are so common there's other ways of working with strings so if we were to come in and say char, uh, let's say first name is and we'll give it a value of Brett and because this is five characters, one, two, three, four, five, we give it a five uh, space array. And then if we were to print out the name here, we'll just say first name. We save that and then we'll reference the first name. So it'll print out the first name, should come here and get Brett. We print that out and you're gonna see there's actually a little bit of an error when we do this. So it says Brett A, B, C, D. Well, that's because we don't have a null terminating character in here. So we could put in uh, backslash zero uh, for our null terminating character, but that makes our array a little bit bigger. So instead of having five slots, we need uh, five for B, R, E, T, T, and then we need actually one more for our null terminating character. So we could type in six. So now if we ran that, we get our first name is just Brett, uh, but because the default value in a character array is the null terminating character, I can actually just take that out and then in that, in that last slot it will put the null terminating character in there for me. So if I hit save and then I print this, I get first name Brett. So let's come in here and let's do a last name. We'll do a character array for um, last name. And I don't know quite the size of it yet, so uh, instead of doing this syntax here, I'm going to say we're going to have a pointer to last name, and we'll put in all red here. This is another way of initializing an array. And then in the printf statement here, I'll just type in last name. It's still a string. And then we'll just give it a reference to last name. So we save that, and then we run it. And you can see that uh, there's a few different ways we're working with strings here. So in the first way, we have this character array and we're just accessing each slot in the array to get the character. 
In the second way, we're initializing the array in a little bit different style, which just giving it this string of characters all together, and knowing that we have to have one extra slot in there for the null terminating character. And then the last way is this way, using the pointer syntax. But all of these are used to access arrays of characters, which we call strings. So there's lots of different use cases for this uh, in the real world. Maybe you are doing something like uh, the character array month. And we want to know that it is January. So we put that in here. We save that. So then we can do a printf of month, give it the string, and then give it the month here. And if we print that, we'll see January is there. And uh, I forgot to put my null, or sorry, my new line character in here. So we'll print that again, and we see January. Now, here we didn't have to. Uh, specify the size of the array because the compiler knew how long this was and so it did it for us. Uh, another type would be um, really any message that you want to get or if there's questions that you want to store but the the trick in C to understanding well there's multiple tricks but one is just remembering that you have to end that that strings are just character arrays and they have to have a null character at the end to terminate the string so that gives you a quick introduction to strings, knowing that uh, under the hood they're just character arrays, but there are certain ways of looking at them. So go in and study a little bit more about strings, but they're, they're used all of the time in programming. Uh, and again, with C, don't get too frustrated with strings in C. They are pretty hard to use, but as we get into JavaScript and we get into other higher level languages, uh, they've made a lot of nice conveniences in working with strings because they're so co uh, common. But just uh, the main point is to understand what a string is and uh, how you would use it and some of the basic concepts of string and C. So thank you and have a good day.